Hi there. Here's how to set up a private server for Jamulus on Windows. If this video helps, let me know with a comment below or by liking this video. Also, subscribe to this channel for other musician related videos. I recently did one on all types of jam software available in 2021. You can also help me out by consider buying me a cup of coffee. Over time, Jamulus may undergo a couple of design changes, however the process still remains the same. You also don't need to set up a private server in order to use Jamulus, and there are other ways to set up a private server as well. This is just the one that I like to use. If it doesn't work the first time around, consider tracing back your steps or check out the Getting Started guide on Jamulus. Let's get started. We're going to add in some settings in order to set up a private server in the next step. We're going to set up UDP port forwarding in the router to settings. First, we'll need to figure out several IP addresses to get port forwarding working correctly. We need to find the local IP address of your laptop, the local IP address of your router, and your public IP address. To find the local IP address of your computer, on Windows go to Settings, Network and Internet, Ethernet, scroll down to Properties, and it'll look like this. Copy this to a notepad. The third IP address, the public one, is the easiest to find. Just type what is my IP address in Google and it'll pop up. Now you have collected the three IP addresses, it's time to set up port forwarding. First we're going to access the router. This step will probably look different with you because different brands of routers have different interfaces. A word of advice, when you're in your router settings, don't just click on random stuff. This could give you issues which I'm not gonna fix. Enter the local IP address of your router in your browser and log on to the router. If you're not sure about the login details, you could always check the website of your ISP. Next, we're going to look in the settings for something called port forwarding or IPv4 port forwarding. On my router is located under settings. We have to create a new forwarder item for Jamulus. I have to configure a new app under service. Let's call it Jamulus. Select the UDP protocol. TCP doesn't work with Jamulus. Next, enter the port number, which is 22124. Save and go back to creating a new item. Select the newly created Jamulus. And enter the local IP of your computer. Save the settings and you have set up port forwarding. Sometimes when you cannot find port forwarding, just Google the brand of your router and the series of your router with port forwarding and it could help you out. You can download Jamulus on SourceForge or on their website which leads to SourceForge. It automatically installs the latest version of Jamulus. After you've installed Jamulus on Windows, you need to copy the Jamulus shortcut. Right-click the copy and has the properties. Add the following to the target. Hyphen S to start a server, hyphen P to select a port and hyphen W to select a welcome message. Next, change the file name in the general tab so you have a distinction between the server and the client. Don't forget to first run the client and then run the private server. Connecting yourself to your own private server is the same as on macOS. First, we need to run Jamulus. Next up, we're going to run our private server. We need to do it in this order or the Jamulus client supposedly doesn't work. Make sure to uncheck the Make My Server Public box unless you want to start a public server. Next up, we get back to our Jamulus client because it's time to connect ourselves to our own private server. Hit connect and type the following at server name slash address. Congratulations, you're now connected to your own private server. After you've connected everything to the computer, open up Jamulus. You need to connect to the public IP address of the person hosting the private server. In this case, this is my IP address, so my bandmates need to connect to this IP address followed by a colon and the correct port. Hey, thank you for watching this video. 
If this helps you out, let me know with a comment below or like this video. You can also consider buying me a cup of coffee with the link below. And you can check out more videos over here and subscribe to my channel over here. See you next time.